Uh, today, you know, on this count, the, as I speak, it's uh, May 14th, 2016, and tomorrow, Sunday, is uh, this year is Pentecost Sunday. And I think it was sort of neat to the uh, Kehila to uh, understand today, you know, it's, it is for today uh, just as much. We're talking about the uh, baptism of the Ruach HaKodesh with the evidence of speaking other tongues. Uh, <clears throat> you know, some people, you know, I, they I have, I have misunderstood this, and I think a lot of uh, uh, spiritual leaders are not are not aware of this. You know, you know, read your your word and the word of God, and it talks about you know, uh, you know, receiving the baptism in the Holy Spirit. I mean, the Peter was looking to Yeshua. It talks at the end of the uh, like the end of Luke, and at the beginning of Acts, he's chapter one. He's talking about. When Yeshua restored the kingdom at this time, and you know, he said, "That's not for you to know about what the time with the Father as this is to tarry for the Holy Spirit uh, in Jerusalem in the upper room." Uh, and what it is, it's a matter of uh, you know power. I go into some congregations, and you know, when you don't have the Holy Ghost, it's just nothing, you know. No, no, really, it's just really dry, dead, and sterile. And you need, you know, if you, if you really want something happening, you need the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. And, you know, uh, I think it, a lot of uh, people, I don't know, this was like a, in the 70s, they had a misunderstanding. Of, I mean, you know, you, Paul talks about, First Corinthians, you know, he talks about, had the need for all this because you know that until that which is perfect has come, then we won't have a need for them. And that which is perfect has not come because Yeshua has not come back yet. So you know, I mean, that has been restored. If you take in the last century, is the need for for the 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 baptism in the Holy Ghost and for anything to be done. I, I believe uh, why a lot of congregations have gone liberal. I was looking at this 30 years ago. I saw uh, the gathering in Canada and all these names, and I said, it was like the Lord was saying to me, they left, they forsook. Not It was not the doctrine of the virgin birth or the resurrection or uh, perhaps the Yeshua dying for us, but <clears throat> what it was, leaving, leaving the, the baptism in the Holy Spirit. And that is like in the doctrines of the assembly of God. Is that it's like a, you know, it's not like somebody was saying, you know, adding something. It's not adding, you know, it says, okay, it says Yeshua plus nothing else. Yes, Yeshua died for our sins. We need Yeshua and nothing else for salvation. But He brings along other things. He shed His blood on the tree for our sins. You know, He gave His life for us. And now all of a sudden he sends the Holy Spirit. I mean, that's what it ta talks about. Why don't you just read your Bible and follow what's in there, obey what's in there. You know, and I think really necessary, I mean, to go out and preach the gospel. Uh, I mean, we, can, we go out there uh, on Brighton Beach or Kings Highway, and we've gotten a lot of problems, you know, of uh, opponents who uh, would take our, our literature and rip it up. And not give other people a chance to decide for themselves. And if we're going to go out there on the streets, and we need, you know, the baptism in the Holy, Ghost, the Holy Spirit. I remember a long time ago, I mean, I got, went up and said, just because I went and said Hashem, and I got the, this, this rabbi came up in my face screaming at me, and he says, I'm coming back in a few minutes. I thought he was going to bring some guys with me. Oh. All he came back with was the Sunday Times. Uh. So, I mean, you know, what, so he just whacks me with the Sunday Times. Uh -huh. You know, he comes up, screams at me, and tells me how to be ashamed of myself and to go to hell. Uh -huh. Now, I gotta say, say this one thing you tell people to go to hell, can you do it? <laughs> you better think if you tell people to go to hell, better sure can you go there yourself? Yeah. But what is it necessary? I mean, to have, you know, the power of God. I mean, look. Look at what happened. You know, the, the Holy Spirit fell upon the disciples at the beginning of Acts chapter 2. And what happened? They went out on the street, and Peter was preaching the gospel. And this is like what happened with Peter. You know, he thought he could stand up for the Lord. He thought, oh, yeah, I'll die with you. 
But when it came uh, to the nitty gritty, you know, what did he do? He denied. And he looked at, saw Jesus came and looked at Pilate, you know, looked at him like, I told you so. And he went out and wept bitterly. But now, you know, here it was. He had the, 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 the power of the Holy Spirit. And he went out and, and he became the first one. He preached and well, 3,000 people got saved. Wow. You know? So what is it, you know, what is it? I mean, you know, let's uh, seek it. You know, one thing I'd say right after, as soon as you're saved, I mean, you know, seek this, you know. Because that's what, you know, John the Baptist, he, he told the disciples, his, I baptize with water, but one comes and baptizes with the Holy Spirit and fire. The Messiah came. You know, and he came with the, the gift of the Holy Spirit. So, wait, tarry. And let's all tarry, you know, the, you know, to uh, have this power to preach the gospel. Amen? Amen.